Foot Wars. Yeah. Fight, fight, yeah. fight. Now, uh, Kim Woodburn <laughs> is best known for cleaning up other people's mess in How Clean Is Your House? Yes, however, her own child at home was a far from happy one. My name is Kim Woodburn. I lived in Suffolk Road from when I was a few weeks old till I was 11 and a half. I didn't have the happiest of childhoods, to say the least, and why I feel tense, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. Well, in we go. Oh, my word. How strange to be here. The front room, we never used it. It was for best. I have to tell you, this house is not a house of good memories for me. And if people can move in, which they're obviously just done and make it happy, by God, it needs it. This really is the house that taught me how to clean. And it is true to say that uh, I do like cleaning. I have no objection to it at all. If I could take a mark on a wall and I could get it off as a little child, and if I could get the mark off, I thought, I done good. This was a fire, oh my God. We used to roll bits of paper tight, <coughs> look, throw them on the fire, and then we'd, then we'd light it with a bit of coal and we'd have a newspaper up and it was always catching up. <laughs> we were blowing out the newspaper. My father was 21, it was Royal Marine. And my mother was 16. Romance blossomed, it did in the war, didn't it? And she had my sister in 1940 and she had me in 42. It was a very dysfunctional household. I know mother and father didn't get on. They just rowed and fought and screamed and my father left and divorced her and she became brutal and horrible. She drank a lot. She argued and fought, and the police were constantly at the door. She was a horror. She hated me. She used to beat the hell out of me with coat hangers, carpet brushes, and it darned hurt. And she used to say to me, I never wanted you. When you were born, I should have sent you back. By God, I paid a price. She couldn't bear to look at me. She's just so like your father. They say you don't miss what you've never had. Yes, you do. Because you see it all around you. You see other children, good parents, fussing them and looking after them. I may be 70 now, but I still long for the mother I never had and the father. Of course I do. My mother died in 2000. And she was being buried. The priest came and he started talking. We're here today and da, da, da. he said, and her children. And he said, um, Gloria, Robert, Neil. And he said, he read everybody's name out, not mine. And I was really, it, oh, it hurt me terribly. I mean, my mother was a very temperamental woman, given to these shocking, outrageous... But you know something? I, I got through it, didn't I? Only a person that has been in the deepest valley could know what it's like to stand on the tallest mountain. And uh, I feel that's me. I've been in a very deep valley. It shaped me as a person. But I'm terribly glad to be on the tallest mountain. I'm not going back down again. I rather like it up there. <laughs>